If I could bring a porn star to the show, can I? Oh, we well, got one in the party. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, yes. I, I've heard about your Pornhub video, yes. Oh, yeah. Linda, do you know about my porn video? I do not. Okay, so over the summer, I, I uploaded a I want video. to either. No, it's actually pretty cool. Over the summer, I uploaded a video. I watch it every day, Hub. right before I begin. It's uh, cool. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's called Blue Team Gets <laughs> Fucked Hard in Halo 3, yeah, and awesome. it has accumulated over 30,000 views on Pornhub. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's a star, you. man. I am. Oh, this guy messaged me yesterday, and he's like, saw your video on Pornhub, and gotta say it's the best porn I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I get stuff like that at least twice a week from people. That's I get more recognized for my porn than my own YouTube channel. <laughs> Welcome back to FFA Podcast. Every Friday we talk about the top three topics on the Halo Waypoint forums that we were always up to date on the Halo community. I am James of JKP Rising. I'm joined by Pedro. Hello, Emperor Teriyaki. Kevin. Hello. We don't have Adam today, by the way. He's absent. We don't know. Yeah, he's Adam is MIA. <laughs> But that's okay. The show must go on. We're joined by two special guests. First, we have Tommy, who is a voice actor. Hello, Internet. You also are part of the thing called the Overshield. That is correct. We are expected to start posting frequent starting the end of January and throughout 2016. So that hopefully that will be our year to rise in subscriptions and video content. I'll introduce you to Suki Nightshade. She is a very good Halo player. That's too good, in my opinion. Anymore. And Nyx Lumisythe, I'm sorry, <laughs> fucking averages out at like 50 kills and 10 deaths in Warzone. You play that shit way too much. But anyways, welcome to the podcast. Hey, hello. Oh, also, I think I should make this clear. I call her Linda, by the way, because she has the Argus set that Linda has in Halo 5. So if you hear me calling her Linda, that's because, um... It just, it's a lot less confusing for me, so. So I'm going to be the British guy and talk about British things and semen. This week is going to be mostly like bashing 343, which I'm okay with. I'm cool with that. I'm one You're okay, okay with bashing 343, we Fuck understand. Yeah. Oh my god. I love 343. <laughs> Stop half-assing at 343. Bash 743 wrote, so far, of what 343 has added that the community asked for has been very half-yoinked. I'm sure you meant to say Why like, are you so dramatic about it? And it's <laughs> incompletion. It's it's almost as if they say, I suppose we better do something, but put in minimal effort and release it, saying, there you go, happy now? So, he's not too happy with how 343 has been treating Halo. What do you guys think? Okay, so I'm gonna stop. Oh, fuck this accent, whatever. So anyway, uh, I mean, the game's been out... <laughs> That was quicker than last time, but the game's been out since October. We've already had two free updates. Again, these are free updates. We have one at the end of January. People need to realize that stuff like this takes time. And 343, I must admit, isn't being very vocal about what's coming out. They had Forge, and I like to compare it to, like, a meal. Like, you have your steak, but where the fuck's our plate, you know? We don't have any, like, game types. You don't have infection race stuff like that you know yeah. there's stuff that's missing and i bring this up every podcast that, since i've been here that there's just stuff that from previous games that isn't here now and just makes you wonder what is going on at 343 it says at the bottom reach had a really good file browser and 343 just can't do that how can someone not do it when the 360 could do it like how does that even work true true facts true which facts. that should be in itself it's like well you can definitely do it on one because it's way better than 360 that's a big flaw right there that reach is a lot better in many ways compared to five <clears throat> not every way but For now while i disagree with this guy in general i do agree with the example he gave regarding social playlists because we, we really don't have enough information about 343 and what they're doing to really say that they're half fasting it they have their reasons and they're not coming out with these reasons so you know i'm not gonna judge them yet mm -hmm. now the social playlists i agree they half-assed that they said they were bringing social playlists and like this guy said all they did was change big team a game a playlist that we already had to social and then give us a temporary weekend playlist that just adds two more people to the fire team the holiday social was just kind of underwhelming it's like oh slayer and snipers and more and more was just shoddy snipers <clears throat> i don't think there was anything else it was just Slayer, Snipers, or Shoddy Snipers. I was like, what the fuck? Like on the, the weekend. The weekend playlist, like the only yeah. really one I had any fun with so far was Team Snipers, and I actually yeah, managed I to get a montage of that. Has anybody I played like... Team Doubles? Is that fun? Uh, I I've played it with... Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay, I'm going ahead. Fuck you. Anyway. Yeah, um, fuck I mean, you one, one thing people liked about Team... I'm not a fan of it, but one thing people are liking is it's a lot less crowded in Halo 5. Their kills aren't getting taken as much. There's a lot more chances for those 1v1 encounters. And, and lots of people, that's because they said that if there's enough demand for it, it'll be a permanent playlist. And I think doubles is a permanent playlist now. It's good, but it's not my cup of tea. 
I played a lot of free for all recently, and they lowered it from eight players to six, and it's mm -hmm. such a drastic difference because eight was so fucking chaotic. If you were had no shield, someone would spawn behind you and kill you every time, and there's no yeah, way I'm to escape death. Six people, it's a lot more slower pace, and you can take your time. I was live streaming free for all a couple times, and I'm just like talking, playing casually, but still playing good, and it felt a lot of fun. And I wasn't getting frustrated at all with dying. I had a lot more yeah. fun with six people than eight. So that's one thing I really love. That's like probably my favorite free for all that I've played so far. So it's playing say. good, like four kills, six deaths. Uh, no. I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I had. I had to. I'm sorry. Okay, don't don't hate me. Well, I mean, I did. I, me play I too did, much, Jeremy. I did live stream a couple times before I invited you guys. I was doing. You guys bring me bad luck. So oh. <laughs> it's just that I'm too good because uh, people don't know this, but I won V1 Pedro a couple weeks ago and um, I won, uh, but that's irrelevant. But anyway, uh, well, Dead Zone um, won V1 Adam and he won too. So also, um, wait, Dead Zone beat Adam. Yeah. What? Oh, I'm never going to let him live this down. Doubles being a permanent playlist. I kind of don't want it to. I played it with Adam. And uh, three quarters of the games, the other teams were just camping power weapon on map and making us go to them. Well, that could just yeah. be their play style. Or is that every match? It was pretty much five out of six matches. Four yeah. out of six matches. Well, I, yeah, no, I mean, I can understand it as a tactic, but when it happens that often, it just gets, like, infuriating yeah. and boring. Halo 5 has only been out for a couple months, so it is unfair for us to judge it this early. But it's not bad to criticize it. However, I honestly think since Halo 3 ODST, People have just have been used to hating on Halo in some shape or way or form. So when Halo 5 comes out and does a lot of things right, I think people are kind of turned off by that because they're so used to hating on Halo. Does that make sense? I mean, mm. it's the, it does make sense. It, the, it is the Halo community. There's always going to be something to bitch about. Like, look at this fucking grass. This is terrible. There's just something always going on. Something people always want. They cannot be satisfied. So unfortunately for 343, they're fucking like watching over a whole community of children who just will never get what they want. No matter how many times you spank them with a fucking brick. I think from what I can understand, at least from you know, playing a bunch of the Halo games since you know Halo 2, is that the game came out with less content than most, mm -hmm. than the other ones. Yeah. I mean, this one had, I think, the longest time to work on, and it came out only with multiplayer and campaign. And then we had to wait till, you know, December for Forge to come, and then we don't have much game times or anything. I think, because sure. I think what made Halo great is the social aspect. It's, you know, when, I remember back in the Halo 2 days that, you know, the community created zombies. They The community created the cat and mouse. Those were fun to play. 3 for 3 is just focusing on the MLG. It's more the competitive, like, they're, that's what they're promoting. I mean, they have special regs just for, you know, just the MLG's championship is like, I think they're forgetting that it's the social that makes <coughs> the Halo community great. And of course, they're going to bitch about it because it's like, you're taking that away from us. Yeah, it's been their prior. I mean, like, as gross as casual gamers are, let's all agree, they're disgusting. I mean, they are <laughs> very big money. That's why Battlefront is a casual, super casual game. There's not that much content in it, but it's because, you know, people who get off of work, they play five games. And but they it wasn't off. always that way. It used to have classes yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, but see, then EA got their grubby little hands on it and started molesting Battlefront. But anyway, yeah. that's the thing. Like, casual gamers are money, and 343 is kind of pushing it aside. Like, uh, Halo Championship Series, uh, go play Warzone. But then they gotta realize that the casual people, like, we don't want to play Warzone. We want to play Infection. Play well, you want to play Warzone. But you're not a casual player, Mrs. Exactly. Bitch, you know, 10. <laughs> exactly. So Teach me the ways of Argus. I they do have know. a kind of a predicament, and I hope they f do that sooner rather than later and not have, like, a Halo 4 predicament where it's like, you know what, no one's playing the game anymore. No, let's fix it. Like, you know, you, just, you gotta work on that stuff quicker. Mm -hmm. How long did it take to unlock Argus? Uh, Not very long, <laughs> considering she's only like level thirty I can't and only plays Warzone. I can't fucking unlock Venator, man. I'm <laughs> like around fifty now. I'm a ninety. I'm like ninety-five, and I don't have fucking Centurion. And I'm Centurion, yeah, that's that's nice. Too. I have a Centurion helmet. That's it. What? You have Centurion? What? I recently a got Centurion a helmet. Here. There's a, a really big cool difference. Helmet. Well, I mean, so, I never bought. Like any other pack uh, other than gold, when I was like every Wars game I played, I always saved. Uh, I always saved the ten thousand points to get a gold pack, and every time I pretty much got something lucky. But what's really important is, do you have Helios Scroll? True. <laughs> do you have Helios Remember, Skrill? folks. Yes, yes. Go to youtubecom slash sunbadpasser to watch the new Helios Scroll short made by me with help of a few other people. Really good short, by the way. <laughs>
Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard that bad pass from is really fucking good. I never bought the Master Chief Collection from ah! you my friends it. saying that how broken it was. I just didn't feel like dealing with it. It was that yeah. broken. Halo the Master Patch Chronicles. I do believe, though, at least <laughs> from my playthroughs of all the four campaigns, I think those four, specifically the first two games, was more frustrating than the actual Master Chief Collection itself. Oh, but. yeah, fuck that. Halo 2 and Legendary made me, like, I've never contemplated to Halo 2 Halo. and Halo 1 on, on Legendary were the hardest campaigns and mm -hmm. they always will be. One tip I hey, have to hey. give for people is uh, Naked Eli. He's like doing these yeah. dank MLG He He was my savior. He is a god. Yeah, because, I, I, he teaches I, you how to I, skip I, through I, all yeah. these missions so quickly. He's like, wow, this is so much easier than I thought. I mean, it was still a pain in the ass. Yeah. And there's not much yeah. you can do about jackal snipers, but, you know, he's really fucking helpful. Yeah. Yeah, because that one time I got quick scoped by a jackal sniper on Halo 2 Legendary. I, I turn a corner. He turns a corner. By the time I'm in scope, I'm already dead. Really? Yeah, those Come on. just pissed off when they made that. <laughs> Dude, you play on cooperative irons on the entire fucking time. Yeah, I hate that. That's why I do it solo. <laughs> Did you guys see that clip of me and Adam on Halo 2 mm -hmm. doing... And I literally got quick scoped by a jackal no. with Adam right behind well, me. That no. should be I think community. I did see that. If you can find that, that should be the community clip. The community oh, no. clip! Re oh god, I'm, I just regretted I bringing it. this up. Second topic is 343 milking Halo 5. It's asked by Big Sack of Fun. What a nice name. Always adding tiny bits and pieces, making the community always wanting for the next content and keeping people wanting I'm, its main fan base. So I don't know I'm what that means. I'm going to start though. this off this time. He's pretty much. I don't even see how this is a topic. Yeah. This is pretty much saying adding updates to a game is bad. Well, That's pretty much well, what no, that like, translates he, to. The way I he hear it is he basically wants like everything at once which wouldn't be which fun. would be worse yeah. what i, I what i kind of think he's going at here my friend brings this up a lot is they're purposely holding back content you know we've seen the ce magnum it's fully designed it's in the game code somewhere or like just waiting to be implemented the gravity hammer is waiting you know like i'm sure and they're not going to add both of them in the january update and just like battle of noctis which was i'm pretty sure was mostly done when halo 5 launched as well as overgrowth they're just kind of purposely holding that content i feel like they should release a bit more with these updates well, instead of forge maps oh yeah, 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 yeah. The way I see it is they have a lot of stuff that people are asking for and they can only put out so much at one time. Mm -hmm. they, the Spanker launcher, because it was such a staple from Halo, like everybody wanted that to come back and that was one of the first things to come back. And then they snuck the classic battle rifle in there too, which I thought was cool, but I still prefer the Sentinel one for the dual zoom. But it, it uh, is uh, kind of like, but when the January update comes out, you already had, like we've seen the Gravity rifle. Hammer. We, yeah, we've seen the Gravity Hammer design, we've seen the CE Magnum design, so th they are just purposely holding it back. And it feels like there's just right now. Well, no, no, if you saw the sprint episode, that thing's fucking done. Like, they said <clears> it'd <throat> take them four days to get, like, the whole thing done. <clears throat> Like, the guy designed the gun in, like, 20 minutes, and the lady said it took them, like, four days to get audio. And the gravity hammer, it's been fully textured out. It was in one of the waypoint bulletin things. They sneak peeked it. Like, these guns are fucking ready, so why don't we have them? They could have easily came with the December update or something, but I don't know. They're probably waiting to introduce them um, with other content, for example. Maybe, for example, maybe they were waiting to bring the grav hammer back when they bring Griff Ball back. For example, that like maybe they're waiting sense. for certain content to release yeah. with these weapons. Or when they do Halo CE Anniversary 2. Maybe uh, the, the gun, again. the pistol you're talking about is the Halo 1 pistol, right? Maybe they're planning CE on releasing a class. Well, they are going to do that. Maybe they're ready to release a Halo 1 map that they're going to release with the pistol. Yeah, you exactly. know what I'm saying? That's probably this the type of things they're waiting high. for. I hope so. Like, or maybe they're oh, like, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, here we go. So Adam, what's your opinion on 343 possibly milking Halo? Tommy, what are your thoughts? Do you have anything to say? I think the, the whole gaming industry today is always milking their games. Is anybody the else hearing games his mic to last up? longer? And of course, Halo's no different. I mean, it's just, it just becomes a trend that we just either have to accept it now I mean, at this point, I mean, because, what, Battlefront, you know, they want to charge us, you know, $50 for a DLC. The game's been out for, you know, a couple months now. We still haven't heard anything about their DLC. And then for Halo, I mean, I'm sure there will be, they said there will be new content every month and, until, like, you know, they say they're done. I mean, free content, I mean, that's the only, I guess that's, that's a good thing we have to be happy about. But honestly, I think at this today's day and age in gaming industry, they're always just, they're 
gonna milk their games regardless. So Adam, um, I I was trying to, uh, since you weren't here in the beginning, I was like, you know, I'll be the British guy for this episode. I was just like, I don't want to do this. So it lasted five it was, minutes. It was not five minutes. It was like three. <laughs> Long yeah, Kevin, Kevin doesn't last very Forgive long. Forgive me for trying to give you credit. Yeah, I've got my issues. So my videos are so short, I just get way too exhausted. <laughs> I can last quite long. I love it. <clears throat> if you know what I mean. I don't, I don't know what you mean. Nobody ever knows what Adam means. Adam Speaking like of which, baths. let's let's uh, welcome Adam Lee into this episode of you I know said FFA that podcast. Three times already. Yeah, Dwarf. but no one cares about you. I care about me. That's why I always start the next topic. So let me start the next topic, well, James. Well, let's well, go. We haven't. Adam hasn't <laughs> answered Fuck. the first two topics yet. Just say um, yes and no. Do you think FIFA three is milking Halo? Or I mean, I think that's a stupid word to even use. Do you think yes. it's stretching it out a bit? Like, yeah. To what okay, they that's better. Stri- Stretching it out, stretching. taking their time. The holding content, content. the holding content yes. back, I think, mm. just for the yes. sake of fleshing out future updates when they could mm-hmm. release it right now and get rid of it. Mm-hmm. Oh so it's already God. done, you think? So why is yeah. it taking them this long to get it out? Because they want to make future updates seem bigger than they are. Cock teases. <gasps> Damn, that is good stuff, Adam. You've been here for two minutes and you're making me rock solid hard right now. And I'm not even gay. <laughs> are you sure, though? I swear yes. to God, that thing's not a fucking head, it's a goddamn brain. <laughs> huh? Oh my screen. god, he did not just go there. Damn, mm. son. Is Halo 5 better than Halo 4? Yes. In our opinions. Three things. Multiplayer, campaign, and then I guess extras, which would be Forge, Custom Game, Theater, all that shit. Campaign. So, Campaign-wise, is it better? Alright, let me start this off. Fuck you, Pedro. Uh, campaign, <laughs> I think the Halo 4 was... <laughs> I think, like, people, like, for the majority, they're like, oh, I hate Halo 4's multiplayer. I think the campaign was decent. Other than the fucking ending with the didact, where you shove the worst grenade ever in his chest. But in Halo 5, the both the... grenades are fucking badass. Yeah, now those splinter grenades, and they're fucking awesome. Hold X to bald diaduct. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> there's a glitch on the MCC where, uh, when you're at that part, it says press RT to fire a machine gun. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, the campaign was nice. It fleshed out Chief and Cortana. It gave you the bit of, a bit of tingly feels at the end. And then they were kind of talking about the Halo 5 campaign being the most drastic emotional campaign ever like you're gonna fucking like shoot your brains out after it's over and I wanted to shoot my brains out but not in a good way because it was a fucking cliffhanger and we all hate cliffhangers well I mean I wasn't upset with the cliffhanger because I knew it was gonna be a cliffhanger because Halo 6 is coming out fully expecting the cliffhanger so when it happened I'm like yeah that's what I expected and I was surprised people were like what the fuck cliffhanger this is stupid Uh, (laughs) I'm like that's what's gonna happen I mean I don't know nobody really likes cliffhangers now we gotta wait three years. People hated Halo annoying. 2's ending, right? People bitched exactly. about Halo 2. And then they're well, like, Halo oh, I love Halo 2. Blah, 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 blah. Well, Halo 2 Halo... was time constraints. Halo 5, they had all the time they needed. So they they said, hey, let's end this on a cliffhanger. Opposed to Halo 2, where it's like, oh man, we gotta end this on a cliffhanger. Yeah. So it's the okay, difference between point. choice and predicament. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I don't like. Took you long enough. And like Pedro said last uh, last time, like it's supposed to be like symbolic how she says, took you long enough twice to chief and lock. But I was like, what the fuck is this? Come on. And the legendary ending was like, it really preludes to a lot, but I don't, I didn't find that satisfying. Didn't the, she I, say that took you long enough thing to George as well? In, um, in Reach. Oh my god. Yeah, oh my god. That, this is making me dislike Halls even more. Now, while I didn't dislike the ending of Halo 5, I didn't exactly like it, but I did like how, you know, we're getting, we're going back to Halo. Like, Halo yes. rings, like I said. Halo That's the, probably the only the part of that ending I liked. But I think we can all agree that the best Halo game is Spark Assault. <laughs> <laughs> I still want the precursors to make a comeback. Even though, technically, they've all become the Flood now, I'm certain there's still a few out there. Oh yeah, there's definitely if you just like of course the one thing that i miss from halo 4 the most was spartan ops because that was just fun to dick around with and your friends i think it was nice it was was interesting it was it was a cute little storyline but i I hated it got to the point where they said they were going to update like more into the story of spartan ops and we had two seasons of it of five chapters Yeah, no, they just cut it off like it was a mid-season finale. Um, I mean, one thing I liked about Sparnoffs was episodes 6 and 7 where they were like... Like, episode 7 and 6 were like new campaign editions. Which yeah, like, I really 7 liked. was fucking awesome. It was probably yes. the best week because it kind of had that CE feel. You're fighting mm-hmm. on, like, the ship. You got the enemies coming in and all that. And it was and all, new, spaghetti all new levels. levels. Yeah, all, that, that was actually, that was like 6 through 10. It was like all new levels. And they and they really did it differently. All new levels, just, but kind of repeated a few times. Yeah, but they had, like, several, like, they made them really big so that it wasn't yeah. completely repeated, but it was like you were in I section love A and C. last oh. mission where you were at that, like, harvester place and you got to, like, oh, get and the into fucking the gravity thing. broke. Yeah, and then, like, it, like, shoots a fucking laser 
laser into the wall, and you got to go into this new area that wasn't there before. I thought that was yeah, pretty cool. Pretty. But I mean, cool. my biggest issue with Spartan Ops was the repetitive gameplay, and sadly, when like three out of the ten are awesome and the other seven suck, that just yeah, means it sucks. It just it was like oh, a way to get people to come back. I mean, those three I thought were great, but the other. Like, the first yeah. five were boring as shit. I'm sorry. Like, I mainly just thought it was fun to go mess around with my friends on. I didn't really have a huge desire for the storyline. It was, it was I interesting. I didn't either. I actually didn't was fun really to play, play Spartan Ops as much. They do finish the storyline in Escalation. That's the thing for Halo 5. Some people were, like who didn't read Escalation are like, oh, so all the Spartan Ops stuff, that just doesn't carry over to 5? It doesn't because it's solved in Escalation. People who don't know. I think it was a DeMarco? Whoever Sorry, the leader DeMarco. was for, um, yeah, for, yeah, for yeah. whatever team. He died. Not Yeah, yeah, he's, no, oh, yeah, he dies in Escalation, but he's also voiced by Travis Willingham, who's also the voice for Fred. So they're like, how many people know that? Cool. <laughs> It's not really that interesting. What a guy! Yeah. <laughs> Halo fun fact of the week. Man. Actually, that is kind of interesting because I do I watch the English One Piece sometimes, and Travis Williams voices a character named Ace, so that's kind of cool. Travis Willingham, Whoa. like I like him, but like he, he uses the same voice. It's me, Travis Willingham, being a voice guy. <laughs> but I love Deep his voice. voice. Oh, it's so. I don't, I don't know. I just kind of hear it all the time, so I'm just kind of like, ah, oh, Travis Willingham. Get it? It's so majestic. Yeah. I but so, let's see. We've been on Steve the Downs. Like, if I heard Steve Downs voice acts anything else like i couldn't get my mind off the fact that it's master chief he, they get like, he, i don't know if he's he still used doing. to be the host of a radio show didn't he or something like yeah, that yeah yeah the drive Seattle, but, um, yeah yeah that's imagine driving Star home Lord. on a morning and hearing that shit man yeah. i would love one thing they had a contract with him he does the i don't know if he's still doing this now but he was like the voice over guy for the carnival cruise people <laughs> i don't know why they got him i haven't heard one of the commercials but i just find that so weird hmm. i wish steve blum was a spartan character steve blum. i want golden uh, freeman steve. morgan I freeman is Gordon. Please. Gordon. I, uh, I want Gordon Ramsay as a Spartan. <laughs> Like, oh my god, Gordon, Okay, I, I think Gordon we need Ram to get back on yeah, 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 yeah. Really? Yeah. It's fucking wait, 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 wait. dead! It's dead! I, Why are you still fucking shooting? I, I, think I first to the want Gordon Ramsay to Gordon. replace Sarah Palmer as, as, as the voiceover for Warzone and starts up. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that would make me happy. I don't know how any funny at all. Aries B is the fucking capture. Go reclaim it. I mean, they put Snoop Dogg for Ghost. Can't we have Gordon Ramsay for him? Yeah, exactly. Gordon Ramsay Spartan Chatter. Can we awesome. get a can we get a Christopher Walken one, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh my! This Captain it's... Hestro, who's a Phaeton, is a major threat. You just went part country on that <laughs> one, but anyway. God dang! You Kevin, really you did. God, God dang! Fucking insult my accent before I get my hillbilly boys and come slap my I, dick. Right but uh, I think we ass. talked about how we like the Halo Four and Five campaign. But what about the multiplayer? Well, actually, I wanted aspect? to go back to the campaign. Oh, okay. When it came out, I I really I. I hated Halo 4's campaign, but I love the multiplayer. Now I'm kind of even on both. Mm -hmm. I loved how Halo 4 was isolating Chief and Cortana, and I love those first couple missions where it's only them. Mm -hmm. And Dang. I didn't like the Infinity stuff. I didn't like how they brought that shit in, and I really just, I wish it was more like a Metroid Prime feel. So for that short period of time, I really enjoyed that. Didact was a cool guy, cool voice, cool villain. He just gets kind of off, and I hope he comes back. Um, he might be dead in Escalation. I think he's composed. He's dead. He got composed or whatever. as fuck. Um, I don't know. I hope he comes back. Or just do something... Like, if they bring in a cool dead, character, yeah. I don't know, they just kind of the, brushed the, him off like Warding Turner. Like, cool guy, but I don't like them the introducing... I wish him. Del Rio got teabagged at the end, but it, that didn't It's happen. like the prequels in Star Wars. Like, every movie they had a new villain, and you didn't really give a shit about them, but the original trilogy had one villain, and you cared more about him by the end. So I wish they do stuff with that when it comes to bad guys, not just making new fucking people with cool voices come in. And, like, Locke. Like, Locke looks cool, but he's a shit character. Because he boring. doesn't do anything. He's just like, yeah, I'm... Understood, Commander. The light is green. Yeah. Ugh, light he's is, not just know, a target the light is brown. <laughs> that moment when this podcast has pretty much gone heresy, we bring real-life people, Call of Duty, a Master Chef, and Metroid Prime, a Nintendo <laughs> yeah. game, into a Halo fucking video. We mentioned Metroid Prime. Now, Nintendo has to fucking own this video because we mentioned Metroid, and now they... Dog. Make all the money and shit. Cut it out. Uh, cut it out. But anyway. I got it um, out. So what do you guys think about the Halo 4 and 5 multiplayer compared to? Uh, I think I'll let it start. Shut five up. Five multiplayer wins. 
Yes. I have to say, I've said this multiple times, like, I have this theory, like, people didn't like Halo 4 because it was unbalanced and all these varieties, but when they changed Halo 4, like, a year and a half, two years later, it was really fun. Yeah, it was the really good. And I think, was awesome. Yeah, yeah, and I just think if that, like, if that, and with, like, the file browser and all this new stuff, I think if the Halo 4 that we have now launched the way it did in 2012, I think it would, people would have liked it a lot more than the Halo 4 that we had at launch, because everything was kind of unbalanced, the DMR was OP, the bolt shot. <laughs> oh my <laughs> if you, god. If you use the bolt shot, shot like, you can, Holy like, eat a fucking fuck. melon hole. Well, bolt shot shotgun. I would have known Halo, like I like I said, I enjoyed Halo Reach and Halo 5. Halo 4, I quit after like a week. I, it was like so uninteresting for me. So I would have to say, you know, Halo 5, definitely the better multiplayer in my opinion. And one, and one thing I'm seeing a lot of people saying is like, Halo 5 is like, people, it's really addictive. It's just kind of maybe because of the rec packs or just how fun it is. People are saying it's like the most competitive it's been since Halo 2 and I have to agree. It's, it is very competitive. Everyone has the same thing again. There's no variables of for like armor abilities like you yeah. know that this guy can thrust here someone's gonna spartan charge you here we all know the radar sucks so it is yeah. all very balanced and i do enjoy that one thing i, <laughs> I think it's radar. got that kind of halo c feel to it as well it kind yeah. of feels like a classic halo even though it's got like a modern twist it still feels like a classic one and i think that's what yeah. like. there's certain things that i miss and don't miss like full armor customization well <laughs> i mean <laughs> who said that bit. <laughs> <laughs> But Is that I you, Tommy? You've been pretty quiet. I don't know what is going I'm pretty on. happy oh, no. with the armor sets and stuff. One thing that I definitely miss was being able to spawn with a carbine. I love the carbine's carbine. fucking awesome. Oh, that's my favorite weapon. Oh my I god. Was an avid carbine user carbine on Halo 4. So I was an avid a lot of my friends did not understand why I used it so much and how I pulled off all the stuff that I, I was mean, able to do with it. With Halo 4, I think they really took the carbine a lot more seriously. With 5, not so much, but it's still a fucking awesome weapon yeah, to get your um, hands on. No, I think we went over this I definitely in like the zoom episode. on the carbine yeah, now on Halo it's 5. Really it's, cool. it's way cooler. Yeah. I think we went over this it, in a previous episode, but in the January, there's like a, a Needler carbine variant, one that shoots needles. Yeah. Yeah, the needle the, rifle uh, needle that was rifle. in reach. Yeah, they're just yeah. like, hey, let's not design the needle rifle, but let's do half the. Work. You know, I <laughs> wish, I wish they did design the fucking needle rifle because that was a sick looking gun. The legendary mythic and call it Cat's demise. That would be oh. fucking hilarious. <laughs> or Cat's downfall or something. Yeah. Be cool to bring back the Spectre. I miss that vehicle. I think Cat's yeah. Demise sounds better. Spectre Revenant. Upper. One thing I noticed in Upper Halo 2 cool. Anniversary, the Spectre was in, in there. Like, I know the thing was absolutely useless, but it should still be there. It was, it was good still for cool, climbing right? hills and mountains. Oh, like, awesome. There was the Spectre, and then there was the brute version of the, the, prowler. Yeah, the prowler. The Prowler. The Prowler. The Prowler, prowler, prowler was, was cool. Also... Wasn't the Spectre kind of like a somewhat bad like Revenant. a transport vehicle <laughs> with a, a turret Revenant. on it, like a like a Wraith turret on it? Like like a bad yeah. Revenant. Yeah, a bad Revenant. A bad Revenant. I don't, I don't remember what a Revenant is. It's, it's the, the one from right Weech. The wed one from Weech. Weech? Yeah, the, the wed one from Weewa Weech. The, the, the wed one from Weech. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pedro, I love your fucking laugh, man. Like your laugh gives me your 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 laugh adds years onto my life. <laughs> oh shit! The, the, oh, my oh my god, that was awesome. Going back to okay. Halo Five really quick. The rec system, I don't like how it's randomized. However, if they had it like in categories, like where like you could buy like a gold pack that would give you like only legendary shit, that would be cool. That way, you're guaranteed at least a good item and not just some random ass item. That's so, gonna like, be thing, in the future. That's one thing my future. friend said that I thought was really good is like in order to get like the mythics that each character has like if you wanted to get centurion you'd have to play through the campaign as legendary as fred if you wanted to get bucks army you had to play through that's the cool. campaign legend that would be a great way to like that's that would cool. increase community like I would immediately that'd be a bitch, though. That'd be a fucking people, yeah. people would actually go on forums. Yeah, people would actually go on forums. They would actually. They yeah. could have like um, campaign matches. That'd that's be That's a amazing. great idea. We should write that down for a video. George, topic. if you're watching this, um, I love you, and uh, but I hate you at the same time. It's an awesome thing. <laughs> Thanks, George. Right. Hey, Frankie boy, out it. Frankie, come on, do something about it. Stop being so bald. Fuck man. Being so bald. <laughs> For every good idea someone has about Halo that doesn't get put in, Frankie loses another hair. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like, wouldn't that be kind of slightly unfairish because you're only blue team for three missions? So? I'll give it to you. That's thought, challenging. Oh, yeah, it is, it what if they made missions. it to where, like, they put the skulls on for the blue team missions to balance out the other 12 Osiris? Yeah, missions. not Lasso, but maybe some... Yeah, I don't fuck know, Lasso. Oh Do some things ground pound. The Vidmasters, three man! Nights. I fucking love the Vidmasters! Oh, Vidmasters. oh my so god, much the Vidmasters were good, man. but it was infuriating. I remember doing ODST yeah. firefight for that uh -huh. one with firefight to a certain point on Heroic. Yeah. My God, 
that was infuriating. I remember when Recon Armor was cool. I spent my Key birthday on the ground for three minutes. At least two hours it took, or maybe two and a half. But I mean, like, I had a good lucky experience. I did it like three times before I got my achievement. I know people did it like fucking 20 and never got it. I wasn't really a fan of Vidmaster. Because to me, like, I got Recon, like, before the Vidmaster <laughs> thing even came oh, out. So oh, I was really happy. Like, everyone's like, oh, how'd you get Recon? How'd you get Recon? And then the Vidmaster shit came out. I was like, oh, come on, really? Wait, how did you, how did you get Recon? Were you the guy with the traffic cone incident? Was that you? Wait, what? Wait, how did you get Recon then? It's not traffic. I honestly don't know. I swear <laughs> to God, I have no idea. I remember I the guy recon. who did the famous traffic cone thing got Yeah, yeah, recon. it was maybe... Maybe that was Adam. It wasn't me. Oh, maybe it was you. I, I don't remember it being me anyway. That's... I might have got hit by it or some shit, but like, I, I legit have no idea how I got recon. It wasn't the flaming helmet or anything like that. I think that's Bungie only, isn't it? You, so you got recon and never looked into it? I just assumed I was good. Okay, so <laughs> Adam, just tomorrow. assumed you were good. <laughs> Adam, you wake up tomorrow. The recon was awesome, and then it turned into a... Yeah, oh my god. Was, uh, recon it was the, looked... It was Halo 3's Helio Skrill? <sighs> No, I think Honestly, the recon I think in three was Halo 3's, uh, Helio yeah, Skrill. Yeah, I agree with and that. And everybody got it. Now and then it got lame. And then I hate the because Halo the only way to stand that. out after High Muse armor because everybody figured out, oh, you just pick up all the skulls in the campaign. Yeah. And then it turned into er, we have to get recon now because the stand out. I, uh, recon. <laughs> too many little looking... kids have the High Muse armor now. Recon looks terrible now in four or five with that little oh, mouth yeah, piece at the bottom. Yeah. Honestly, but, I thought Halo 3. The chest piece and shoulders used to look so cool in Halo 3. Now it's just like yeah, like look at the. So curvy, pads. and I was like butterfly the, wings now. The Halo mm. 3 shoulder pad of recon was so awesome, and the Halo 5 is a fucking like tampon fucking it's a weenie. insert. <laughs> it's a weenie. <laughs> it's a okay, fucking no, like speaking, pad, oh, is, is what it is. Can we go back to Adam real quick? Okay, so Adam, let's say tomorrow you wake up with like seven inches more on your dick, and you can fly, and you're just like, oh, I guess I'm good at things. You don't look well, into I it wake at up all? With what? I wake up with what? <laughs> oh my god. What, what did I wake up with? Uh, never mind, whatever. Well, no, 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 just tell me, because I was. No, no, no. He said that you'll wake up with a, a dick seven inches bigger, which means you'll have a dick that's seven inches long. Oh. Full, <laughs> full, 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 I would have a little record. Damn. Record. I would have a world record. Ew. That that was that was good. That was I'm good. Slap you with my snosses. But yeah, guys, uh, I like Halo Five better than Halo Four. So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. On topic. I do too. On to oh yeah. Yeah, I was gonna ask yeah. a question, but I. What's I a topic? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We ever since we had the Halo Collective. When on, she we takes her top off. Uh. <laughs> oh. oh my yeah. god! In other news, N needles have been improved to inject into kittens to make them 17% more cuter. <laughs> what the fuck? True facts. True facts. <laughs> Oh, uh, Halo, Wait, so Halo. have the needles been added with anything, or is it just a plain needle shoved into a cat? No, I think they something- They made them purple. No, no, there was something new about the kittens, not the needles. It's a new model. No, you said the needles a minute ago, you're backtracking. I'm gonna go Google Images without the uh, hey. safety on. Tommy, let's- what- what is up with your life? It's been- what- who are you? Who are you, man? <laughs> who am I? I am a man with a voice that Yo. just speaks into a mic. Yo, that's called voice hack. I do that too, I do that too. <laughs> Honestly, I, I've been really busy with work lately. I, I really want to start. There's a Mishima show that I've been wanting to work on for a while. There's only one episode out, it's like two years ago. So I'm probably going to redo that episode and make it better. But basically it was called Dimensions. It takes place in Halo 4, but it's more like a parody. It's making, it's, it's, these characters are the gamer tags and they are sick of being in Halo 4. They're sick of being stuck in this world because, you know, they're, con they're gamer tags. They were created for the purpose of making Machinima and they want out of Halo 4. So they find a way to get out of Halo 4 and actually go into other video games. So it's going to be much. Machinima span on different video games like Minecraft, oh. Grand Theft Auto, as well as Project Spark. You know, just anything that can be used as Machinima will be in a machi in this Machinima. Well, um, <laughs> so Tommy, if you need so uh, voice actors. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> so yeah, that's what I've been working on. Does it sound what good? What you're saying... It, that actually sounds really It sounds really interesting. It sounds Pretty really... Dang. It sounds Pretty good. Dang. Uh, sounds dang, th dang. This just kind of reminded me of, like, Spartans breaking the fourth wall and wanting to do a wreck at Ralph and go into other video games and shit. So that, yeah, I like... Well, I, yes. Exactly. <laughs> Can we get Emil in GTA San Andreas, please? I'm ready, how about you? Um, just get to my fucking Titan. You know, honestly, that's probably been done, Adam. Reach honestly, if home. If, uh, At least it was before I fucked everything up. 
All you had to do was glass the damn planet, CJ! Alright, Linda, wh what's with you? What are you currently doing content-wise that the fans can know? Uh, mostly just, uh, Warzone gameplays and... Honestly, I think Halo 4, to me, is the better campaign, because I think with each mission, they actually try to go big, except for that one mission where we're on that giant elephant one that was just boring his ass. But to me, Halo 5 always feels like it's just act one of a bigger story. And to me, it's kind of disappointing with it. My nigga Tommy's right. My nigga Tommy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just like my nigga Bernie Sanders. But yeah, uh, James, I think I have a community question unless you, that, you want to use that, is it? No, what's up? We'll use both. Big is Adam's dick. So, yeah, so the community question for this week is, what is your favorite piece of armor in Halo 5 and why is it Argus? <laughs> and why is it Argus? <laughs> <laughs> Centurion. Centurion's Yo, cool, Helios is cool. I want um Venator, that's what I fucking want. I Helios love Dead cool. Space. I fucking love Dead Space. And it looks just... it. It, they got inspired from Dead Space. No, no questions. Plot, asked. plot twist. Suki wants to confess that she has Venator. She well, knows. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Linda, honestly, I don't know if she it? has Venator. I'm just assuming she does because you know she yeah, has. She's like 30 yeah. levels yeah, lower than me. She's got all the shit I want. I'm pissed. Guys, <laughs> I just <have> no <laughs> guys, I have something to say. I have a poem. Oh, Actually, I don't have yeah. a poem. Linda, will you go to prom with me? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Please say yes! Is that it? <laughs> We're yeah, supposed to the poem. I said fuck the poem, let's just get straight to the question. <laughs> oh. I like that. Yeah, you might have had a better chance if you came out with the poem. <laughs> no, I'm I mean, kneeling <laughs> to my TV screen right now. I can hear him kneeling. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel him kneeling. The yeah. floor is cracking. No, I can <laughs> feel the submissive behavior coming through. Yeah. I'll buy you a plane ticket and we can go to prom in the middle of Kentucky. I don't live in Kentucky though, so that, that might be a bit of a problem. <laughs> but that's go where we're Kentucky gonna go. Kentucky solely for their prom. Yeah, exactly. And their chicken. Come on now. Kevin's gonna find you and uh, cover you in corn syrup. Oh, yeah. oh man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That sounds a very syrup. American thing to do because you guys like covering <laughs> everything uh, in corn. I have a fast metabolism, syrup. thank you, so I can eat like 5,000 donuts and gain like 20 pounds. Syrup. Shut the fuck up, James. <laughs> you know that yeah, it's so just fucking... You, you heard how much I eat, like, just shit constantly. You don't eat a lot, you just eat like a fucking pig. Skinhead. That and... Yeah, <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> I like how he, he over here eating potato I like chips. How all you hear is mom, was just nom, snuck nom. in there. No one noticed. <laughs> I totally noticed that. I just laughed for that. It was too quiet. Pedro, what do you get me for my birthday? A big, double-ended spiked dragon. <laughs> He's dildo. <gonna> say dildo. <laughs> I'm if you guys just want to buy me a, a 20 rec packs for my birthday, January 16th, that'd be really great. Hopefully, I can get Argus as well. Well, folks, you've been watching the. Wait, this isn't the. Mm, I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say the JKP Rising podcast, but that's not a thing. <laughs> thanks for watching JK Podcast. Okay, um, thanks for watching the FFA podcast. I'm a bad password. With me, I have JKP Rising, James, Emperor Teriyaki, Pedro, Spartan Ice Halo, Adam. We're joined by our special guest, Linda, that is her actual name, and Tommy, no, a great name. voice actor. <laughs> Tommy, Thank what you. is your YouTube channel for the folks watching at home? Uh, The Overshield. The Overshield, folks. Stay mm -hmm. tuned. The Overshield. Thanks for oh, watching, bad. and remember. Wait, wait, wait. What's, what's um, what's uh, what's Suki's channel? YouTube channel. Is this the Nexus Gaming channel? Okay. Nexus Gaming channel. We will, we will Nix, plug that. Nix N Y X apostrophe. As in oh, Nix was... Assassin from Dota 2. <laughs> uh, no. Nix. I don't play. Nix. I thought it, I thought you said Nix. Nexus. I don't play Dota. I'd rather play League. Fucking love Nick's assassin. You just, well, she's out of your league now, Adam. Well, oh, ladies, well. gentlemen, and Halo oh, followers, thank you circle. very much for watching the FFA podcast. But seven inches is fine, Adam. That's a really good size, actually. So don't. don't oh yeah, thanks, bad. thanks, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Top zozzle. <man. laughs> I heard the yeah, average right. length is five. I think. Yeah, maybe for you. <laughs> <laughs> Today. Yo, you just get shit on. Adam, I will mistake. send you a picture of my dick and I'll prove to you that I'm fucking seven inches long, motherfucker. Alright, let's go. Oh, Lord. oh god. Let's go. Let's do it. Weird. <laughs> oh god. Okay. It's a Halo podcast, so anyway, right? I want to Loser add... has to put it as a video on YouTube. I want to add another question. And that's how Rising got banned from YouTube. <laughs>
just pick the dish. <laughs> so you say saying yours is smaller, yeah? Well, no, like mine would be what it is, but it would be pornography on YouTube. How, how did we it? get to this topic? I want to ask a question. <laughs> how come we have like? Pee -pee. How come we didn't get to this topic sooner? Oh my God. Yeah, you know he's gonna. How is this not a regular feature? <laughs> uh -huh, nice Wee, wee, you have a tiny PP. Pee -pee. James, I have an idea. If anyone here has watched Arby and the Chief, I think we should do Techno Dicks. If anyone here knows what that is? <laughs> no. It's where, yeah. it's I've where watched one of the Arby and the Chief, but I do not know what that is. I so wanted to do season eight reviews. Like, Ooh, and, um, we could do that. And just talking about the. I love season eight. If you have not checked I'm... out season eight, it's fucking amazing. Go check it out. Yeah, I know all two episodes. Good. It's stuff, great right? though. I love it. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> LA. But like, like they're long. Not... Episode one is a minute and oh, seventeen don't you seconds. Dare or a minute, well, a minute, an hour and seventeen seconds, and the next episode's like almost forty minutes. So they're like. Tommy, movies. what did you just say about R B the Chief L A? I heard that. Oh yeah, R B the Chief L A. <laughs> don't don't you dare. Bro. I mean, I appreciated what they were doing, and that's when Machinima was still cool. Now they're just fucking. Now they're your fat uncle who's just a really big jerk, and his wife's like a dominatrix. Don't have to deal with them anymore. Oh. I don't think that's yeah. a bad thing, right? Uh, Kevin, you say that like it's from experience. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, you know, back to the techno dicks things. It's where one of the characters on the show where draw like these really crude but insanely good penis drawings, mm -hmm. and of like <laughs> they're like dicks in certain scenarios. Oh, yeah, it's like a yeah, it's like a penis with a shirt on. He's like, once you get to know me, I'm a real dick. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> there was a picture where it showed Master Chief rotting on like this flaming dick with like wings and blowing fire and shit. What oh, the God. fuck? Dick dragon. Dick dragon. <laughs> Flaming dick, but <laughs> we've gone hella off topic. James, this is just gonna be more for you to edit, but I got one more question. What do you guys? I think guess you about could say we've gone off the tip. Oh, oh my, my god! <laughs> this call went fucking balls off. <laughs> oh wow. Well, well I think just I think just because of this call, I think I've probably added another thirty years to James's life because of my laugh. I think I'm we've dumb. been shafted by this call, to be honest. Uh, I put my headset back on at the wrong time. We're all pre-coming over here. Huh? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Linda, you're a woman. What do you think of all these penis jokes? I mean... <laughs> She's a pervert. She's not going to think anything negative. A pervert? Wouldn't that yeah, be the you opposite? Are. <laughs> what do you mean, yeah, you are? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Nothing, don't ask. <laughs> I have my right, that's it, that's it. That. It's been decided. He's decided for you, right? <laughs> I think that I think this should go on the podcast. Like this is gold in my opinion. I like Oh this. my god. <laughs> this is all scripted by the way. It's every time me and Kevin get started on something, we get sidetracked. Yeah, we do like train getting derailed. Pedro Adam, really loves please trains. Please stop. <laughs> hey Bing boing. Alright, so yeah, I think we can that, that was just you trying to